Meteorologist Michael Coates. Okay, so the winds are picking up outside right now. It's getting pretty gusty around the Snake River Plain, and a lot of this is outflow wind from thunderstorms developing and dying right now as we speak. We saw this yesterday with some very intense wind gusts, especially in portions of the upper Snake River Plain yesterday with winds into the 60 mile an hour range, and we had several reports of some minor damage across the region. Jolene sent pictures in of trees down on Yukon. Look at that big pine tree that got knocked over. I believe she said that it was at the city park there. And then Rick in Lorenzo, his neighbor had a big tree that also toppled over. Or toppled over. Look at the, how big that tree was, an old tree there, a uh, huge trunk, and uh, yeah, completely uprooted. Uh, we saw several reports of some minor damage yesterday with those winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some wind gusts again here for tonight, uh, especially in the last hour. Things have really starting to pick up out there with the winds. Now, this is the last check of the airport wind speeds, and they're updated every 45 minutes or so. Sometimes they're updated a little bit sooner than that, but at the last check, about 5 o'clock, we were 13 for Idaho Falls, 18 in Pocatillo with those wind speeds, but that's not including the wind gusts we've been picking up here over the past 20, 30 minutes with these passing thunderstorms. A lot of this moisture still not even hitting the ground just quite yet. Most of that moisture is actually getting evaporated with all the wind, but we definitely have some unsettled conditions coming through here with the thunderstorm threat moving in here from the south, moving to the northwest tonight, and it's all thanks to an area of low pressure which is moving to the north. We've had some thunderstorms pushing just right over Idaho Falls, but nothing in terms of any significant uh, rain showers or even lightning strikes. There's a severe thunderstorm watch until 10 o'clock tonight for Lemhi County and central Montana. And just to give you a taste of what's happening there, especially as you go into central and northern uh, north of us into Montana tonight. The wind speed still kicking into the teens and 20s here as we go overnight. The winds will be right back at it tomorrow afternoon, about four or five o'clock in the evening. As we get into late afternoon, evening, we're expecting to see those winds in excess of 20 miles an hour. And again, it's all thanks to this area of low pressure and a stalled out front which is making its way across our region, pushing towards Montana tonight. On the other side of this low, as it moves further to the north, expecting to see dropping temperatures. And yes, there is a possibility of some high elevation snow as we work into tonight because the temperatures will be colder as we go through the next uh, couple of days here. So this low is going to slowly lift towards Montana tonight. We'll see some wraparound showers coming through. A little bit of a break in the shower department for tomorrow morning early on, but by about 9 a.m. those showers start coming back in here from the west, and we'll see more wraparound showers in here for tomorrow. A little more wet in the forecast here for your Wednesday. We'll see just partly cloudy skies for Thursday, and then another shot of wet weather rolls back down in here as we go into Friday. So the wettest days of the outlook still looking to be tomorrow and Friday, and I got some good news for Memorial Day weekend. 59 in Preston, 58 in McCammon tomorrow with highs around 57 for Rexburg. Yeah, it's going to be colder outside. 45 at Old Faithful, 61 in Salmon with a high 54 in Mackey, 55 in Arco, and 57 in Idaho Falls, 59 in Pocatello. So the windy weather continuing through Friday. There are some thunderstorms sprinkled throughout the region Saturday and Sunday. However, the risk is now lower. For this weekend. So we're only going with a 20 to 30% chance of thunderstorms in the Snake River Plain for Saturday and Sunday. Of course, I'm going to up that chance for the mountains, but just bear that in mind. Yeah, we still are looking at temperatures into the 50s on Saturday with some mountain thunderstorms and a few passing Snake River Plain thunder showers for this weekend. Pocatello high of 62 for Thursday, 55 on Friday, very close to 60 degrees on Saturday. Memorial Day, clearing out with a high of 75. Uh, go to central Idaho, salmon and chalice highs here at 61 for tomorrow, 60 on Thursday. Uh, we're keeping breezy conditions in the forecast here for the next few days with some heavier showers for central Idaho communities and then some scattered showers on Saturday, but looking nice on Sunday. Jackson, it's going to be chilly as we head into the start of Memorial Day weekend with highs into the upper 40s for Friday and Saturday. Yeah, high of 47 in Jackson, and that's going to be indicative also for Teton Valley, Island Park.